we're going to discuss we're going to discuss how to add login information to RoboForm. So for this example, we're at a website called Tiger Direct. I'm going to log in to Tiger Direct, but I only have to ever log in one time. So it says, "Hey, what's your email address and what's your password?" So I'm going to type in my email address. Now I'm going to type in my password and RoboForm is going to detect that I'm typing in login information and when I actually log in, so I'm going to click in, click on log into account, RoboForm is going to pop up and say, hey, I saw you just tried to log in too and it's going to give it a name. It thinks it's just Tiger Direct. If that name's not appropriate, go ahead and change it and maintain password protect. Leave that checked and just hit save as long as you're happy with the name it gives it hit save and now that login information is stored into RoboForm for you to access either through the bottom bar here in logins and now we have Tiger Direct or you can access those logins on our little owl guy down here by left clicking on him and going to logins and then whichever login you'd like to get to the one we just added was Tiger Direct so it's that simple and uh, let's keep it easy